No care is a responsibility. Well, let's take a look at that to the guns lineup, shall we? Because Diego Horton starts for the first time between the sticks for Tivoli. They have a back three of Dean Pennycook and Barrington Price. Keno Simpson is also back there in the middle of the park. Anthony Thompson, Kevin Garnett, who wears the captain's armband. Howard Morris, who has three goals to his name so far, and Alton Lewis. Nikolai Fuller, Justin Dunn with nine goals, and Janil Ray. They complete the starting line of Fort the Gardens. What hasn't changed is their regular formation of 3-4-3, three, three, which Jerome Waite swears by. And it's great to see Howard Morris, their number seven, coming back into the starting line. I really think his chemistry just Justin done excellent. And hopefully it will be a fruit for the Orange. Well, let's see how Malines United will mix as far as their chemistry is concerned. Peter Harrison is in goal. Johnny Flemings, Flemings will be asked to play left back, completing the back four. Jeremy Nelson, Dijon Grant and Enrique Gordon in the middle of the park. Uh, Javon Brown, Daniel Hardy, Steve O'Reed and Tyreek O'Connor. Jason Wright will play behind Thorne Simpson. 4-5-1 is what Malines will play. Quite a few changes. Of course, they finished their last game with nine players. Frankson. Has to take a look at the full-time highlights here between these two, Tivoli Guns and Malines United. Thorn Simpson with an attempt that Horton was equal to the task with. And then just a slip there giving Tivoli Guns a, a sniff there. Morris, and it came through to Fuller, and Harrison did well. Fuller trying to place it between the keeper's legs. Steve O'Reed out wide and uh, ball played inside. And Jason Wright couldn't quite connect properly with that one. Good work from the substitute Livingston to find Jason Wright. And then Livingston again in the second half sending a a ball inside and right should have buried that one. Wow. Big, big chance there. Hat trick against this team last season. Couldn't find the target here. And that was a wonderful finish. Pennycook did find the target for the first time in the Jamaica Premier League. His first ever goal in the league. And what a thumping finish that was. Oh, they loved it. He loved it. And the Tivoli Guns with the advantage there. And then that came off the woodwork. Wonderful stuff. McBean, he had just come on as a substitute to Jay McBean. Almost made headlines. Lewis also had a really good game, you know. Slipping that one inside and that was a wonderful save by Peter Harrison. And uh, done with the effort on target and uh, Harrison in the way Tivoli Guns with 7 shots 4 on target Malayans United with 14 shots 5 of which were on target they are, they are looking better and better Malayans United but they just uh, they are just missing out on picking up maximum points for their matches 3 corner kicks Tivoli Guns one more than Malayans United who had the majority of the possession in fact in the end at 51% Diego, what a big performance for you. First match of the season, first minutes in two years. How does it feel? Well, it feels good to be back. And I'm healthy and strong now. And looking for more, better things ahead. And to come onto the field and create a, a, a clean sheet for your team as well. It's just a third clean sheet of the season for Tivoli. Masterful. Yes, it's been a work in progress. Um, this is our first minutes. So working hard and going back to the giant board and come again for the next match. How hard is it for, for a player to sit on the bench for, for that length of period? Obviously, you've been around the Premier League for quite some time as well. You spent time at Waterhouse as well. To then just come into the game and be able to produce that kind of performance. Two telling saves, one off right and one off McBean comes to mind. Well, we are, we are long in it you know, for now. 10, 12 years now we're in it now. So we are fairly experienced. And when they do call up on me, I'm ready on any given day. Congrats on your first clean sheet of the season, Diego. Go enjoy, get some rest. And we look forward to more top performances from you in a, in a Tivoli shirt. All right, thank you. Diego Horton there, our play of the game, keeping a clean sheet for Tivoli Guns. Well, it was this man's first game 
of the season formalized, Jermaine, not necessarily the result you're looking for, but our spirited performance, you would say? I mean, uh, in patches. I think I thought we played in patches. We created one and two opportunities. There are some opportunities I thought we should have converted. Um, but we gave away the ball in some crucial areas. Uh, it, it, when we're transitioning from defense to offense, you know, we kept on turning over, and I think that kind of set us back a bit. Some changes forced, in other words, obviously, O'Connor came off, Livingston came on, but that looked like it worked in Malign's favour because you looked like you had a little bit more impetus going forward, um, especially with the creativity of, of, of Livingston partnering with Wright. And probably, if you think about it, apart from the goal, probably creating the best opportunities, just not the, the, the finishing touch to score in the end. I mean, there are obviously some final third issues, and um, we'll be working on them. We've been creating, as I said before, several good opportunities you would have seen today. But we just we were not able to convert some of the some of the opportunities. But nonetheless, I thought we, we were organized and, and we worked on the organization for the last couple of sessions and we saw it today. So it's, it's for us now to really put the pieces together and see if we can definitely get some points on the board. I want to talk to you a little bit about the experimentation. Obviously, the team would be buying into your philosophy. I saw you experimenting with certain things. For example, Nelson in a centre-back role, Johnny Fleming's at left-back. How happy were you with those kind of changes and, and the performance of, of those players in new positions? I mean, Jeremy's experience um, speaks for itself. He's very experienced, uses the ball well. So we got a red card last week, our centre-back was out. So we needed somebody playing against the Valley with the overloads and the, the, the runnings and all of that. We needed somebody at the back of the pitch who, you know, had some experience. He came in, did extremely well. Um, Fleming, excellent player, I think, technically sound. So we needed somebody to, of course, use the ball because we really wanted to play from the back, back a little bit more and some more. But we got that in some part or some parts. OK, well, obviously, the challenge still continues for you to find your best form for Malines to finally execute a victory in the Premier League this season. We look forward to more from Malines as the season goes on. All the best. Yeah, man, thanks much. Jermaine Thomas dear at the helm now for Malines United and you look as we shape up for things in the Premier League Malines sitting at the bottom of the table in 14th position and Tivoli Gardens well just a second win in five for Jerome Wait, Jerome a, a, a tough game for Tivoli but it must be relieving to still come away with the three points at the end of it all well, well yes it's a tough game uh, today the Malines team really you know, put up a stunning fight. As you know, they're at the bottom of the table and they're hoping that they could have, you know, dig deeper to get three points. In the end, you know, we were victorious. We spoke at the start of the game about starting with a high tempo, starting as, as, as a strong unit, but it didn't really happen that way again. Again, a slow start. And it took a while for your, your, your boys to get into the run of things. Why? Yeah, but one other thing, if you observe, it was, it was the footing also. Because we were losing a lot of footing going forward. So that was one of the major factors. Talk to me about the man of the match as well. First minutes in two years for Diego Houghton, but got it done. Two big saves, one against Jason Wright, and you know his quality in front of goal, and then the substitute Matt Bean in the second half. Yes, um, based on how you analyse the game, you give Houghton, but the fact that the defence stood out so well and to get the goal, I believe it was Pennycook should have been the man of the match, but it's your call. Yeah, Pennycook played well as well. And talk up to me about Alton Lewis as well, who I thought at both ends of the pitch was one of the best performances he had of the season. It was a tough call, but as you said, it's good to see three defensive players come out at the top of your list. Yes, and um, I don't know if you can recall Pennycook scoring a goal at the Premier League level. It's his first. Yes, so that would speak volume for him today. Yes, yeah, certainly, and, and, and it was a good finish as well from Excellent. a delivery from, from Alton Lewis. Yes. But as you said, just the third clean sheet of the season, you spoke about the fact that sometimes Tivoli giving up too many... <laughs>